Okay, welcome to this tutorial on how to do file upload in Go. The first thing I'm going to do is to create the main Go file, main.go, and also create a template directory that will be make there. And we are going to touch templates index.html. Right, so we have all the files here. We're going to put everything in the main package. We have the main function. File upload, you need to follow about three, three steps. One is to read the incoming payload, create a new file, and then copy the incoming payload into the file you just created. So, I will be bringing in import net slash HTTP for now and uh, I'm going to put a logger here print ln so starting server on port 5770 right so I'll do if we have any error while we try to listen to this on this port we are going to use the default mods um, error not important. This is the right place to log fatal. So we have our server running, but of nothing for it to do. So I'm going to just reload. This is my sample. There is nothing here to display at the moment. We need some handlers, so I'm going to do HTTP handle func. When you come to the home page, uh, we are going to call the home handler. And we go have to create the home handler. Response writer. And then there's a pointer to HTTP request. Right now we can just print something to the screen. Got right. I'll write some bytes. Welcome home. All right, so let's test the server one more time. Go run main. Refresh. This is my server, my browser. All right, looks good. Next step. Instead of writing this string, we are going to write, use the template. So let's look at the template. I'll just put the template uh, variable out there for template file. Uh, make sure that it's equal to template. We want to do the compilation here template pass file. And what file are we passing? We have it in templates slash index. All right, everything looks good. What we need to do here is basically is replacing this with execute templates. And we don't have this is it. We want to execute the index.html and we don't have any data that we are sending to the templates. All right, so this is home. Everything is there. Now let's, let's create our template file. Upload. Time to create the form. Form, we are going to submit to the home page route. We need the end type of multi-part form. This is very important. Without it, our upload won't work. We need the file input file. I'm going to name it an image. And we also need a button of type submit upload. There are no CSS or anything. I'm just going to keep it simple. Reload the site. And this is our form. Right now, if we submit, you are not going to of course, we have not program provided any logic to process the form. We are just submitting it 
to this same page. All right. Next step. Let's. We are only going to call this part of the program if we if the request is get. So we we'll check met request method. If it's HTTP method post, I like to use a constant because it just says you typo, right? We are going to say handle upload. I'm passing in the response writer and the request. At this moment, we can just return. Now it's time to create this, this handler. I'll bring the signature down as well instead of retyping it and then we have to put the font all our errors are gone so when if our request is post we are going to call this handler right if it's git or if it's anything else we we'll just render the form all right so the first step is to first step is to specify the uh, how many bytes we want to read from the body so pass I'm going to do 10 MB right this is 10 MB so we are going to do file header and error we just do the file and then if you remember the name of the input is image so we put image here it's time to check for error if we have any error http error i'll pass the writer bad request and the code will be http status bad request we return at this point if everything is good we need to close the file we need to defy the closing of the file is very important at this moment we only need the file name from here so i'm going to where do we want to put the file this file header if you go here the file header you have the file name the header size and all that so we need the file name I'm going to say file name is uh, path base. Yes. The reason I'm using path base is because path base will return just the name of the file without any slash and all that. So that is important. So that is the name of the file we are going to have. So I'm going to have, let's, this is the destination. This will become the file descriptor or the file handler, so anyhow you want to call it. And then operating system or OS or create the file name. We have to do another error check here. This error should be 500 internal server error. Status internal internal server error. I'm just going to put a test here. Internal server error. If everything is good. Because this is an open file, we should also defy the closing. Now, the only thing pending is to copy the content of this file, the payload that we just received, into the newly created file. That is all. So, we we'll use IO copy. Um, so, I'm going to say I, if we have any error, we'll know about this. The destination is dest, and this is what we are copying. If we have any error, we want to do the 500 internal server error again, right? If everything, if everything works, we should redirect. You can do anything you want to do here, but I want to do a redirect. Um, and where do I want them to go? I just want them to go back to the home page, but this time around to, to signal that we are good, I'll put success equals to true. And then the status is uh, status C order. That is it. That is the end of our upload logic. So we have our form now, and we also have our upload handler. So we're getting the incoming payload. 
we are creating the file name and the file that we want to put the new the incoming payload and then we are doing the copy over here if everything is good we redirect so we start the server server is started I'm just going to refresh this page I'll pick a file upload and then we see success equals true that means everything works and look at the file right works great let's try another one hope I have something else this is a PHP file there's a go file here why not we can upload it right it's a go file. <laughs> this is some sample stuff. So you can upload anything. We are not validating. There is no validation. I'm not doing any validation here. I don't want the video to go too long. I'm just showing you how to do file upload. If you want to do some validation, um, something important here. This file header. You can let's log some things here. Log that print. Uh, um, printf. So you have the file name here, uh, file header, I think I can just put this, I want to duplicate this, I just want to give you some information on, on how you can validate the file if you want to do that, and uh, I will see the size, and also the header. All right, so let's refresh our site. And I will do another upload just to give you some information. Uploaded. And let's look at what we have here on our console. So this is the file name. So you can, of course, use this to check for the file type. The, this is the header. Look at the name, image, the name of the file. The content type is here. That you can use for validation as well so most time people validate the file type and the file size you have access to all the information that you need to do the validation and of course if the validation is wrong maybe at this point you what is the size of this file let's say if we put a file header dot size if it's equal to uh, something or let's say if it's greater than or equal to this uh, log dot theta. This is not a very good thing, but I just want to show that uh, file too large. Just want to show us how you can do. Of course, you can do it. You can redirect uh, or anything. So this time around, I'll pick the file. I hope I pick the same file now. The program has crashed because our log filter has kicked in. It's a file too large. So you have access to check for the size and all that, like I said. So thank you so much for watching this video. I love making videos on Go. I'm building this channel. Please, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want more of Go videos, please do let me know in the comment. Thank you.